Morning, lads. Welcome. Episode 100. Man, it was not at all certain we were going to get here. Look at all these brave soldiers. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the amount of scrolling we have to do. Oh. Oh, the Hulk. Oh, man, that hurts. Master Sergeant. Hulkster Bolaya. Killed by the assassin in total bullshit. Master Sergeant Levi. What killed him? I don't recall. Zachariah. Yeah, he was a promising ranger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Virtual Viking Odin gave, him, gave his life to defend the Avenger. ML. I don't recall. We died of some bullshit. A spark who didn't make it out of that one nightmare mission. Yeah, Iron Sword, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof. On his first mission. Rip. This is for them. Okay, we've got advisory going. I think I'm just waiting for that bond training to finish. And then we are going to send lads in here for this alien facility. Yeah, and after that it'll be the two headquarter assaults. New India. Go. Setting course for the Arctic territories. So, Grenadier, Sharpshooter, Gunner, Specialist. Brennigan and Iron have to wait a week for that. Okay, we're not quite ready yet then. We've actually only got four. So I need rangers and technical, so that's a week. That's infiltrating four days. And then of the Haven advisors, what do we have? Shinobi specialists. Okay, bit of a grab bag. I'm not quite there yet. I actually need this ambush to, to be completed first. Drop should have a range of technical. Just less grenadier. Just dealing with a bit of wounds as usual in this campaign. Whoa! South Africa. East Asia. Yes, South Africa is up to 13, so they can go fully onto Intel now. Uh, can I go out to Intel? I want the, the passive Intel gathering. 1255 a month, way more than we need. Got another supply raid. I'm actually going to struggle to do that. It feels like our barracks is just kind of buckling under the weight of the amount of missions we have to run. Ismail is available. Is there a gunner here by any chance? There is not. There's Sidorov and his bondmate. It's not Manzur. It's Vitala. And there was a ranger here. Marquez. No shortage of shinobis, I'll tell you that much. Uh, Hamilton is bonded to not Song Azimi. Setting course for Western Europe. 
The nice thing is I can I can boost this mission with no problem. Commander, I'm getting faint traces of a signal coming through. Someone on the ground is trying to reach us, but I can't make it out. Keep your eyes peeled for possible contacts down there. And with my barracks under so much strain with all these wounds, do I at a certain point just pass up on these these missions? I don't think so, because I really cannot have the strength continue to go up, you know? Actually, let's leave Stobby and Majid out, because Ishmael was available. But I don't think her bondmate is available, potential bondmate. Klima. I think Klima might be on a covert op. Oh no, that's Cruise. Roberts. Okay, Klima is out in the field. So then we do send Dobby and Majid. Hamilton. And Azimi. Unbonded, 19 to 21, which is absolutely doable. The boosted is 16 to 18. hit points beautiful Ooh, got ourselves some Icarus armor actually I don't know if I want carapace or a mind shield I definitely want the skull jack and the nano med kit yeah, let's be carapace because we've only got nine hit points base What is this? Carapace, armor piercing, tactical for two armor, maybe. If I can slap some warden armor on her, then that takes her up to three base armor. Seventy-nine aim. I think I can actually use the. Never mind. The ionic axes. Thirty-three will. Let's go with stasis vest. So that's fine. Seventeen alloys. So I can only build. I can't actually do warden armor. Less money than I thought. Wait, we can build rage and super serpent armor. We're not going to do that. That's way too overpowered okay um a second sharpshooter i don't think that's necessary six of us versus 16 to 18 i think is far more manageable That's only an advanced stock there. I'm sure that I have an elite stock. There we go. Uh, head trigger. What laser sight? No, advanced expanded. Elite expanded. I think we want to throw that elite expanded onto some sort of uh, ranger weapon. Ranger Technical is actually what I want to do. I don't think I have one. We've got Marques. But only Brannigan. Pedersen is actually out in the field. And I don't want to send Blue Fog out. 
certainly not sending a rookie out, that's for sure. Cruz, Brannigan, I could just send these two out. Yeah, fine, why not? Or not. 16 to 18 enemies. We have double tap on Sidorov. We have a lot of explosives here. Bridge. Sonar have airdrop. That's nice. That's an extra two plasma grenades. That makes a big difference. Hmm. Okay. The fact that I got rapid fire makes me feel a lot better. Elite auto advanced suppressor. Armor piercing. I'm happy with that. I just think maybe I want Azimi to be able to go into stealth instead of overdrive. But the thing is, like in the other mission like this, there wasn't actually a whole lot of moving forward with a stealth shinobi giving opportunities for my ranger to take shots from range. That's just, you know, you're getting gangbanged from turn one. And for that purpose, I think the combat drugs is going to be better. <clears throat> yeah, Operation Knife Giant. Raiding an advent troop transport to stop the strength from going up in Western Europe. Uh, Aftermath and Fridge, Stobby and Sonar, Paladin and Dancer. Feels a touch light if you consider how hard the last mission was raiding a supply transport. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. But it, look, at least those are really quite strong uh, assault and shinobi soldiers. The fact that the assault has uh, the double shoot ability uh, means a lot. really that means delete one enemy per turn as far as I'm concerned with that ability okay strength one recruiting uh, South Africa Intel 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 This lad, in rubbish he is. South Africa could well be attacked, so we want quite a strong lad there. And Brannigan is quite strong. Uh. I don't think this is a recruiting country. It's not good. Cruz is one of the few lads who doesn't actually really need uh, super tough armor because just 10 health is what an absolute beast he is overdrive no, oh no wait med kit for poison immunity I want to check if Ishmael needs to go in for officer training but no she, she just came out of officer training I'm pretty sure New course. Yeah, so I think I'm going to continue with my freeze on liberation missions. This will prove to be an important we have two forward. headquarters ready to go. What I don't have, I have what I was waiting for. Bean grenade launcher, blaster gauntlet, shredstorm cannons. Oh man, that's nice. That's nice. What am I short of here? Alloys and supplies. 
I will begin our research immediately. Give me that intel. Dying royalty is fine. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. After project reduced by zero, uh, it failed. Great. Outstanding. Wonderful. Uh, I could recruit another. I could keep re recruiting people because I need just I just need soldiers. Ten days for a soldier. Why not skirmisher, technical ranger? Well, I mean they they sergeants. Really aren't very good, are they? I'm pretty sure they get a little bit of XP from doing these. Twenty six percent failure is a bit high, but worth a try. And you know what, if I'm going to hire another skirmisher, then I may as well make another side trooper. I can always just bond the side trooper to that other lad. In fact, I might just start introducing a lot more side troopers because we've got those rookies in the barracks. And getting them trained up is impossible, but at least if they're side troopers, they are much less of a liability in those uh, first few levels. I'm just looking at these and thinking, what would it need to be for me to do it? It's just it's supply raids that I've got to hit. Oh, quite three days, that's not enough. Five days, rescue defector, task sergeant ranger, I really want that, but we don't have the soldiers available. Madasa is back. Madasa is a specialist. But she's not ready to be trained, or oh, she's already at the highest level, isn't she? Also, with these side troopers, I mean, I know it's pretty late, but why not just <laughs> uh, why not just have the side troopers then start going down um, the officer route? I mean, why not? They can eventually take over from the specialists. It'll be a bloody long time. But we're going for global liberation, so Gatekeeper, Andromedon, Archon, Super Heavy, Hive Queen, Elite Purifier, Shock Trooper, Elite Spectre. And it's quite a nice squad. So the nice thing about doing these missions is that I'm getting full salvage. Every time I see a gatekeeper, that gets me another Illyrium core, because we'll render it down. It gives us 10 alloys and an Illyrium core. And now, the lab is currently busy with uh, tracking a data pad. We can use a shadow chamber to reveal the black site, the forge, Advent Forge black site. Cost 50 intel. What I need now is alloys to make more of those warden armors. I think I might actually, after this data pad, we can just d disassemble some mechs to give us alloys. And now, I have, because that sabotage of the Avatar project failed, it becomes that much more urgent for us to hit that facility. So we're going to finish these two missions, these two um, advent train missions, and then we have to hit that facility and the gatekeeper. If it means that strength goes up in some countries, I might even have to turn down some of these supply raid missions. I'm beginning to think that maybe the global liberation might not be possible because already some countries are going to be so high in their strength numbers that completing the missions to liberate them are going to be prohibitively difficult. But we'll try. I mean, if I can send a full eight-man squad of master sergeants, Top tier gear, it must be doable. And I infiltrate up to 200. Must be doable. Position verborgen. Uh, 
And before you know it, we'll be having uh, comparatively higher level site troops as well. This is very, very difficult map to do this mission on. But if I know this map, there's going to be the train tracks over there. So really all I can do is kind of push through here. Dolly thing that gives half cover. Interesting. Roger that. Got a visual. Whoa! This map is tight. Okay, so pushing through here really sucks. I think let's set ourselves up here in the street. And then just wait for something to wander into range. Support Grenadier. Tempo. He'll be fine there. Patrolling away from us, that is fine. And it's one, two, three, four, five high cover spots. That would be the best case scenario to engage from. I don't really see it happening, if I'm honest. So are we all stealthed? I think we oh, might be. Lima, though, does not have big AOE Master Sergeant ability. Vanguard, Spectre Trooper. Prefer to not engage on these lads, but I suppose if I have to. Moving on target location. Moving to Overwatch. Heading there now. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Our specialist. In the center, but more near the back. See, because he's providing definite extra defense. What else is important? The technical needs a clear firing angle. Nitro. I was actually hoping for a sector pod in this mission. So I want the sector, uh, sector pod corpse to build more hollow target out. No, hollow three is Andromedon corpses. The sector pod gives us gremlin threes, and I think I've I've got three gremlin level threes, but I want to get up to five because eventually we want five full squads. So this is kind of fine. Who can actually see that pod there? That would be eleven. So eleven, come back a little bit. Moving to designated I only position. want to have vision of the one squad. I'm on it. Affirmative covering now. Roger that. Scanning. Actually, fighting, falling back from here wouldn't be too bad because we can pop into high cover, high cover. Any of these lads have half? Uh, it's a low profile, they do not. Give a fire shots. Give a fire shots. Well, see, that gatekeeper pod is the scariest one. Should I check this mod and have disabling shot? I might have to depend on that for the gatekeeper. Does good. I think patience is called for here. Sting grenades, 50% chance to stun, so they lose their following turn. 
Ice, I could freeze an entire pod. The gatekeeper, I actually worry, is immune. Roger that. Affirmative. Covering now. That could actually be a decent opening shot as well. Shreds some of the gatekeeper. Shreds, shreds a lot of armor. As long as, we, as long as the gatekeeper doesn't do something crazy like move over here. Worth bearing in mind that it is a little scary having to like depend on the gatekeeper to have to move where Marden can disable it. I suppose Marden should be able to grapple across here where he could also have a decent line of sight that way. And Ulrich can rapid fire Frost bomb and then cyclic fire. Main is the officer good, not Klima. He can focus fire, which will do a lot. Especially because the Spark 2 with Shred will be able to overdrive. Hollow target will do a lot of damage to the gatekeeper. Klima is getting the bonus here of steady hands. And am I ready to take this on pretty soon? I do wish I had a smoke grenade to help us fight in this hard Do as you please. Do as you please. Oh god. Knock me, super heavy Andromedon gatekeeper. Half Bean Pod is patrolling away. They will be gone in another turn. I'm not quite ready to reveal myself yet. Let's go back a little bit. Shit. Squad position compromised. Some crucial hits. Oh, that's nice. I was expecting to not hit the gatekeeper luck like, at all. What? Oh, most of the gatekeeper shots did like zero damage. And it's close enough now that when it explodes, it's gonna remove my ranges. My ranges cover. Ugh. I'm gonna have to disable it. Ulrich is going to have to do work with his flashbangs. The thing is, I would need Levin to get a kill to move away with Implacable. Blue move. Why can she blue move? Doesn't have great blue move options like back there. If I'm going to kill the gatekeeper this turn. I should expect that this cover and maybe even my gunner's cover is going to be removed. I think the play is just to disable the gatekeeper and kill whatever else we can. And what can we do with this flashbang? The hive queen is in range. Flashbang there and flashbang there. And then we just see what we are dealing with. There's a non zero chance that the flashbang lowers the hack of the super heavy, putting it into hack range for Bane. Okay, so. Not gonna attack us next turn. Load down. Okay, so. Controlled, controlled, controlled. On cyclic fire now, anyway. I think the Andromedon might be flashbang immune. It's not. Okay, so stunned, stunned. 
plant grenade can only shoot 75 aim. The Andromedon is obviously an issue. We have Belvo. We do. Bane. What's the heck chance on the mech? Not great. Um, that heavy mech at the back is obviously an issue. Okay, so we can actually go on the kill on the gatekeeper. You're kidding me, I can't rapid target the gatekeeper. Must have vision from here, surely. Going onto these roofs here it seems so dangerous. Setze Kletterhaken ein. <clears throat> the Archon only has 8 hit points. So if Levin can just finish off the Archon, she can then move to cover. By the numbers. Who's overwatching? That mech at the back. Great shot, that was a big crit. And I think I must save Martin's other shot for... for the Andromedon. Launching. Well, shit. <laughs> We really are ringing the dinner bell here. Fuck. <laughs> Whoopsie. Nitro with his ice grenade might have to try to freeze Spectre, Vanguard, Andromedon. That might be the play there. I mean, successfully hacking this thing would be unreal. It's gonna screw us over, isn't it? I think that's good because Vanguard Spectre is the issue that I have now. So we just have to kill the Gatekeeper and the Andromedon, and then there's the mech at the back. Everything else is either combat ineffective or stunned. Need to do 16 here. Or well, I can dual strike with on the gatekeeper. I think that's the play. Dual strike is shared, eh? Uh, uh, so it's a free action for the bond mate. Another rocket could also not go amiss, but it's gonna be very inaccurate. Fire is not a great option. My big concern is that the cyclic fire be 58 because it's weapon range, isn't it? Closed state, fence weapon range isn't actually making that much of a, day, uh, of a difference. The Klima is better off chain shotting. Yeah, but it doesn't actually need to. That could be a good chain shot as well. Now I can't put Levin in, into the three overwatch shot state. But I might not need to, I mean. Stunned, stunned. Stunned, too slow to hit us. This gatekeeper is the big problem. Still got the mech, I've got three big shots out of the mech. I think the mech should try finish off the gatekeeper. And then Klima can move if need be, if that's an explosion radius. 
So what kind of a hit chance is it going to have at this range? 100. Awesome. Look at that. It, it actually hit Nuke, but didn't destroy the cover. Interesting. Do try to do 16 damage with 40 crit. Or we can shred a little bit. I think that's worth trying. Minimal damage on target. 11 has covering fire. Back online. So if that Andromedon tries to launch a grenade or shoot or something, she will shoot and put it down. Which means then she can also shoot at the heavy mech if it moves into range. The Hive Queen is going to move. Okay, so then Overwatching is the play here on 11. Overwatch. I think the dual shot here is good, but uh, I've got a second shot. And then I've also got a death from above. What I could do is I could move hollow target the super heavy, which then pretty much guarantees the kill there. I think that's probably the play. But it's only a shot. So do I need to get a kill here? To make so heart advantage already propped, so it's the end of my turn now, so I'm not gonna be able to hollow target unfortunately. Oh sweet, I can, okay good. The game knew exactly where I wanted to hollow target. So then what is actually uncontested on this following turn? It's just gonna be the Andromedon Shell and the Elite Trooper, both of which are going to get an Aim Malice debuff when they attack. Just a covering fire. Yeah, that must have been close. Okay. 54 aim and it's disoriented, so at least it can't grenade, it can only shoot. Just outside of the range of Levin. Only the best. Great job, boys. I've got a single shot here out of Marden. Levin can finish that off quite easily. I need to do big damage to the Great Archon, I think. Three ammo for that. Note to self, Ulrich needs to start carrying a rifle with expanded mag. What's the big problem this turn? Maybe the Archon and the Soldier is going to be hardest to deal with. This Archon actually shoot twice. I think this is the best play that I can get out of him this turn. Plus seven, so eighteen to twenty-three, but we need twenty-nine. Getting the Spectre and that Vanguard behind high cover is going to be so difficult. 
Uh, maybe combat drugs and then fire. Setting the vanguard on fire, I think, is a good play. Archon is going to be so hard to deal with. At least if I get a kill with Blackwing, then I can use the Desperate Above action to hollow target, and then that does a lot to allow me to kill the Archon. That Vanguard shooting at people in half cover is just going to execute people. It's scary. You can still move with Implacable, but where to? There's no way that's any good, actually. What would be great, actually, would be you hollow target the Archon. Levin then ruptures the Archon. <laughs> and then hollow target cyclic fire on the Archon. I need the Chrysalid Soldier to have lower hit points. Boom. It feels like I'm, ex I'm accepting the fact that I can't kill everything on, the, on this map right now. This hits. No, I'd rather give Levin another shot. No, what? Oh, useless. We will overcome. Oh, fuck's sake. Ends turn, 3 damage, takes an additional 4 turn cooldown. Why can't I use it? Do I need oh, yeah. 3 shots? 3 ammo shots? I do. So if I successfully rupture the Archon, it's almost certainly dead. But I think 3 overwatch shots is better. I can move if I need to. Just get to high cover. And putting me here means that the vanguard can't see me. Come get some. That is tempting, because the best chance I have of outright... It's a 70% chance to outright kill the vanguard. Then Bane gets shot by everything else in the following turn. Unless we get lucky and the spectre acts first and it grabs him and he goes into unconscious state. We can just get him back on the following turn then. Yeah, this is not a shot for you to miss, Marden. It's crucial. So Nitro's, I think they were... My Ranger missed a 90 odd and now my sniper missed an 80 odd on this chrysalid soldier which has kind of fucked everything i can still advance teamwork modern to give him the hollow target at least oh uh, it's regular Ugh. the great archon could just the vanguard and the spectre is a bigger risk the half queen i don't think can reach us on the next turn it's going to run close the soldier will attack either the mech or the gunner which ha which can parry it Three sixty-threes, three fifty-twos, twenty, 
eight damage. I mean, if two out of three hit, but I got to wound that spectre at least so that I can kill it, you know, on the next turn. I think that's the play there. Aye, aye, commander. Ugh. God, that vanguard's going to be an issue. That, that vanguard is going to pretty much guaranteed hit and devastate one of the lads. That vanguard is so dangerous. The problem is it's already frozen, so I worry that if I reapply the ice, I have a memory that it doesn't reset it. It still stays as one. So it looks like... After nine plus seven to ten, the mech is just going to eat shit and probably die in the next turn. But they're stunned, so are they even going to be frozen? 68% chance to kill. It hits. Someone's getting badly wounded here, but my concern is that this Vanguard is going to shoot and kill Jackson. have to hope that it'll reapply the ice for another two turns if it doesn't then jackson's probably dead hopefully displays pinions Missed. god damn it in lightning reflexes Queen just fucks off. Fair enough. Yeah, the mech's gonna go down. Oh, Overwatch, thank goodness. Ich hab es wohl nur gestreift. It survived, really? 66 is a pretty good chance. Take care of that. At least you got to move. I'm at 11. Sixty-seven and then eighty-seven is pretty good there. Got to take the more likely damage. Missed anyway, it sounds like. Christ, Morden. Getting my fucking head in, dude. And now, Skulljacking the Vanguard is actually the play. Although it's going to fail because it's frozen, isn't it? I mean, it, it usually fails when when the target is frozen. A bit of loot from a mech that won't be... Mm, I don't know what to do here. I have got a hail of bullets, which is super important. I can hail of bullets to the Vanguard. I think it justifies a, a crash save save and reload because i think because the target is frozen the skulljack attempt automatically fails and if that's the case i'm just going to reload it because i think that's reasonable i have a memory of trying this in the past and it auto failed i think because the target okay it doesn't work like that okay cool 
That's really good to know. That's bullshit, so the dead target then gets to shoot at you. And there's no way I can actually stand up there, right? <laughs> I can't even see the chrysalid from there. Six. Oh, but am I within range of this? I can't flame him. But his reaction shit, how does that work now? 86, we've got to try that, surely. Doesn't feel great doing that. 63 is too low. Targeted unit, ammunition resupply requested. could very well not kill this thing this turn. Jesus, we're missing a lot of shots. It just misses its attack, how wounded it is. Did it just blow itself up? That's interesting. I've never seen that happen before. That the Archon takes explosion damage if it's above a, an exploding vehicle. These late game missions are so hard, it's so much fun. Ready to go. Moving to Overwatch. Now, how do you proceed now? There's only five left, there's only one more pod. The so Klima needs to be in front, actually, against that Chrysalid Hive Queen. Because he can just parry it if it tries to attack him. needs to be I think up here to cover us injuries wise Bane is going to be out for a while who else got hit so far just the mech that's fine we could also consider building another mech so that while one is getting repaired, the other one can be out in the field. It could be a good option considering how constrained my barracks is. Just have mechs to fill spots. I mean, I'm already making side troopers to fill spots, so why the hell not? Uh, up there is an even better spot, but I've already used grapple. Uh, stay where you are. Worrying, I might reveal. Oof, okay. That's right on the edge. Heading out. Affirmative, covering now. I 
Have a new schedule, Captain. I'm on it. Wouldn't mind if they pop into us now. Fairly close. Got it covered. Still nothing. That half queen is very close as well. Engaging Overwatch. Fire is still there, so we'll wait. Is this going to be close enough to get punched by the half queen? I don't think so. Scary. That would be one square further forward, so I'm not going to do that. That's almost always just whichever move you make. It's it's the one square forward that gets you revealed. Is that fire still burning? Looks like it stopped. So yeah, the habit I want to get into is that you move forward with your first action. And then that is the line. That represents the line of how far forward you go at that turn. And then when I reveal myself and break stealth, or break vision, that's when I fail to adhere to that principle. Moving to Overwatch. Absolutely. Got it covered. I'm here to end the bullet time you've all been living on. Three of us for now. Oopsie, God, Nitro is slow as hell. Scanning approach vector. Ever vigilant. Come on, pop into us, you lost group. You bastards. Let's stay in this building and stick to high cover here now. Okay, that's them revealed. At least I have Hail of Bullets available. And we still have a technical who can move forward and flamethrower. Shock Trooper is very scary. Did I hit all three? I can't actually suppress the Shock Trooper, what? Uh, I don't have airdrop, do I? No. Two heavy lancers, which are almost certainly going to get parried, so that's fine. Not a problem. Uh, just a regular shot, I think. And I'm gonna save the hollow targeting for the Hive Queen. <laughs> nice bit of overkill there, Martin. I could do 48 and 68. Uh, no ice grenade or anything available here. The shock trooper is being lethal. The fact that I'm getting line of sight, oh, it's this pillar that's ruining my line of sight. Forty-eight and a sixty-eight. I think is the best I can do against him this turn. That armor's tough. I did hit though. That was nice with the forty-eight. Sixty-eight chance to do thirteen. We'll take it. Cause I'm pretty sure Bane has the ability to put her into Overwatch. He does. He can give her a threat assessment. 
Or I can command Levin to take another 68% shot. Yes, of course. Just in case one one of the what the Vanguard or Shock Trooper moves forward and grenades. I think he can throw grenades. Make sure if if Levin overwatches now, she could potentially apply the aim malice to the shock trooper. 12, 13. But she's only got one overwatch shot. She, uh, the 68 can become 88 if I can just do one more source of damage. It looks good. Beautiful. 93, there we go. Execution and making the difference. This what we're looking for? That's how it's done. Whew. Sure thing. I'm not at all certain if that heavy lancer is going to have lightning reflexes. But essentially, we're still hoping for the parry on the gunner. Shot Ulrich. Yeah, just the half queen now. The cover doesn't matter anymore. Really? Everyone stay behind Klima. Or will she not pop out unless there's a target that won't parry her? I thought she would pop out on her turn, but on, on our turn, but now she's popped out on her turn, which is interesting. Only eight mobility at least. So I think it might only be Klima that she can reach. Hopefully not the mech. <laughs> this is fucking terrifying. Whew, she doesn't attack. Quick, Klima! Cut her! <laughs> I love the idea of stabbing this gigantic bug with a little button off. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, can this be the badass move? 66% chance to kill with a knife. Go on, nuke. Legend. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> that was a fun mission, man. Made my own life so difficult by fighting out of half cover in the beginning, but you know, I gotta make something worth watching for you lads. Also hairier than it needed to be with those crucial missed shots. Eleven missing that shot on the Crystalid Warrior. And then Marden missing the follow-up shot on the Crystalid Warrior meant that shots meant for other targets had to be used on the Warrior. Eight days isn't too bad at least. We like kill zone.
Attack enemy with a blue movement range. Eh. Into Overwatch after firing a turn ending standard shot. That'll go nicely with traverse fire, but we're gonna take saturation fire. Hollow targeting on the mech. Only out for five days, so that's good. Just the one Illyrium core would have preferred more. Hello, Commander. And immediately I'm gonna turn that Andromedon wreck into a hollow target of three. All the cool stuff costs Illyrium cores. As it should. So that took strength down to, or that prevented strength going to five. And then this will take strength four down to strength three. Uh, combine eight days and then he's ready. Can I wait another eight days? I don't know. 48 hours, 46 hours. I think once Roberts and Iren are back, we have to launch this facility mission. This is to get our boy back. Okay. This must launch a robot. Super Heavy, Elite Officer, Advent Hunter, Elite Trooper. And a full squad. Okay, so I can't end the episode here now. I need to quickly launch it. And once we've loaded in, we'll end the episode there. Oh, these ambush troop columns and supply raid missions are hectic. But they're a lot of fun. Just got to make sure that I keep making progress. And I think that the increased focus we're making on increasing the size of the barracks by hiring the people in the black market every month and by introducing uh, side troopers and maybe a few more mechs although those are much more of a long-term solution because they're low level but every mission where I can send one maybe two low level people worth doing So currently we have the skirmisher, a ranger, and a technical on the guerrilla ops missions. I have so many shinobis, I should rather be sending the shinobis and the assault troopers on those missions. That sergeant ranger and that sergeant um, technical, I need them doing missions leveling up. The ranger especially needs to get to task sergeant as soon as possible. And we're getting ourselves another shinobi back here. Our position is concealed. Sweet. Okay, friends. Thanks for watching. When we come back, we need to get our shinobi lad back. There was a super heavy mech. That's going to be interesting. Do we have a gunner here? We don't. That's pretty much going to be on Aryan Antic. We don't have a specialist either. And Jones doesn't have armor piercing rounds. I'm starting to worry. Okay, I'll, I'll have to. Here we go. That's that's really the, the best thing when I fight a super heavy. Chipper Nova is going to have to shred its armor. And then Waldo. We'll have to try to do as much damage as he can. Deacon also has shred. Okay, so Deacon to Grenadier. Right, that's going to be crucial. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for your daily dose of Long War of the Chosen.